Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube pipe community, good evening, Lewis coming at ya. All right, so, <clears throat> you know what? I've noticed that in almost all of my thumbnails, all, all but a few of them, I'm wearing this shirt. Um, it, it annoys me, uh, but honestly, I work so damn much that I get home, I don't even get much time to change my shirt. This is the undershirt under my um, my army uniform, my ACUs. So I, I come home and, and it usually stays on for the majority of the evening. I had somebody make mention of that the other day. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of irritating to me. It's a boring tan. I blend in with my freaking wall back here. Whatever, screw it. So, tonight I have a yabo for you. Now, uh, the whole snafu with pipes and cigars, etc. Um, they, after International Pipe Smoking Day, they sent out an email with a $50 coupon. Um, I decided to go ahead and take advantage of that because, well, there's been some stuff that I've been wanting and some stuff that I decided, well, let's. Let's see what we can do. Um, spend a little more than I thought I would, but that's okay. Um, all right. Well, here goes. I'm using a screwdriver because my shorts don't have pockets. And... <clears throat> I can't bother to go buy it or go get a knife right now. The screwdriver's nearby. So, let's see what we got here. Packaging. Smells so good. I love getting pipe tobacco in the mail. Whew. Hot damn. All right, so what do we have here? You know what's common, guys. This box is from freaking Pipes and Cigars. <laughs> I got a tin of Bob's Chocolate Flake. And it is just not exactly in the best condition. And I don't know what to do about it at this point because Pipes and Cigars customer service has not exactly been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Helpful uh, lately. So <laughs> I'm going to have to email them anyway. I'll call them tomorrow. There was somebody that did help me last time I tried to call. So if I can get a hold of that person, hopefully she will be receptive again. But yeah, just look at that, man. All dented up here. Seal is broken here. Um, seal is definitely broken there. On this corner too. That's just piss poor, guys. All right. Anyway. Bought a tin of Legends pipe tobacco. All right. Brad, pipes and kayaks. This is coming at you, buddy. This is really good stuff. Um, dark stove, red Virginias, Orientals with Mahala and Drama, Cyprian Latakia. This is a really, really good English Balkan blend. It is really, really, really good. Uh, believe blended by Fred Hanna for McClelland. It's fantastic stuff. Out of Kansas City. I was just in Kansas City this past weekend, went to Diebel's. Um, picked up some stuff myself um, and I'll talk about that later a tin of Orlick Golden Slice Brad this is coming at you too man um, Russellette had come out with Tasty Cake I guess a new cake tobacco um, and this is it I just got an ounce of it because it's five bucks an ounce. 
who knows whether or not I would have liked it. So I'll tell you what though, that, that smells incredible. It's not overwhelming with a lot of Kia. A slight mustiness of of Orientals there. Mm. I could smell that all night, man. That is that is really good stuff. I'm gonna crack. I am going to crack into this this weekend. I'm going to a, a um, an archery tournament out of town, so I am packing up for that tonight. Got myself eight ounces of luxury navy flake because you can't go wrong with it. A tin of Drew Estate uh, Grand Central came free with my order after spending $79. And this one doesn't look too beat up. Way to go, pipes and cigars. Uh, yeah and last but certainly not least um so one of my favorite pipes is my 320 i've got a savinelli 320 one of the cheaper ones the trevi ones uh but it's smooth and it's the the regular size and something told me that i really wanted to get my hands on one of the ex or the larger uh savinelli so while I didn't want to spend that much money, I decided to get myself a Rossi. And why not? The other one is smooth. I wanted one rusticated. This is the bigger one. That one's the smaller one. So uh, let's unbox this thing. Unbox it. It's kind of a, a kind of crazy, this blue with this kind of neon fluorescent orange slash red. I, I kind of dig it. It's modern, but I kind of dig it. It comes in a kind of a cheaper pipe sock here. It's just kind of a mesh fabric. And there we go. Great googly moogly. This thing is freaking huge. It's way bigger than a golf ball. It's probably three quarters the size of a baseball. It's a big old bowl, man. Look at that thing. It, uh, it looks perfectly drilled. Um, there isn't, uh, let's see if we can tighten this down. There is no gap uh, between the stem and the shank that's discernible. I'm looking up, there's a light right there. Um, this is a filtered pipe, as most Rossi's and Savinelli's are. No, it's not. I stand corrected. It's an unfiltered pipe. Huh, go figure. Um, I was under impression it was, but no big deal. Um, I go either way. I might consider drilling this thing out just to a, a 5 30 seconds bit. Um, see if I could just open up the airway. But it is pretty good. Um, clearly, I think this is well suited for uh, Englishes. And lastly, <clears throat> it came with this, a hard case. So usually I carry out, uh, carry around one of those Savinelli soft cases. Um, supposedly holds two pipes and some other accoutrements. But um, yeah, the internal lining of it kind of rotted away for some reason. Um, so seeing this... Uh, nice little hard case, supposed to fit two pipes, open it up, and it's kind of got the same look as the box there. I can see a lot of people not liking this color scheme, um, 
but it's a good way not to lose my pipes. Uh, forget where they are, find them easily, and uh, it's it's hard. So a little bit more protective. There's an area here for pipe cleaners, for tamper, uh, tobacco, whatever. Um, and sure enough, there is plenty of room for two pipes here. It's a little bit bigger than that 7L one. So um, while I, I would, it would be a stretch to say that this is my ideal, um, ideal carrying case for, for pipes. Um, this ain't bad folks. Um, you know, the aesthetics are one thing. Um, this kind of neon teal fluorescent red look going for it. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but honestly I can get over it. And, um, I can see this being pretty useful, at least as a, a secondary kind of case. So usually I use this little Savinelli bag, which I'll show on another video. Um, this Rossi hard case will probably come in handy. And usually if that Savinelli bag isn't enough, or if I'm going on an extended trip for more than a couple days, I'll, I'll take a leather dop kit that I've got. Um, and that will just hold friggin' everything. You know, it's probably about this big. Uh, it's not a briefcase, it's not whatever. Um, but it'll hold a couple squat mason jars, um, three, maybe four pipes if I, you know, I'm being ge generous, or, um, you know, lighters, tampers, all the uh, pipe cleaners that I need. So, yeah. Well, Guys, it looks like I have an email to write uh, and um, maybe a little bit of complaining to do to Pipes and Cigars. And I'm going to see if they can at least replace this tin for me. Um, unless they're going to tell me that I have to freaking send it back. In which case, I'm just going to jar the crap because I don't want to go and do that. Um, why pay for shipping? when it's not my fault. So I guess I'll let you guys know what happens in that case. Um, all the best to you guys. Blessings and smoke rings. Ciao.